All three of the new LEGO vehicles have a power center that must have at least one power cell for power, so it's time to get to work making some. You may just want to skip ahead and build the vehicles, but making a power cell takes a painful amount of time, so you're best off getting that going, then building the vehicles. First, you need to interact with the lumber station to make the compost bin recipe appear. Mine showed up after I grabbed some fresh wooden rods I made, which you'll be needing for the vehicle builds. Build the compost bin with plank, soil, sand, and fertilizer. If you have the materials, which come fairly cheap, you should build a bunch of these because they are the slowest machines in LEGO by far. The compost bin lets you break down various items to get biomass, and you need a lot of these to make one tiny single power cell. A few items will give you more than one biomass, and a few won't give you any, but most items will give you one, along with fertilizer and soil. The good news is bones give you two biomass, and yes, you probably threw thousands of them into fires, but at least you have a good use for them now. Wolf paws and most of the fish we tried of all levels give no biomass, so skip those. Most food items will give at least one. It's trial and error trying to figure out what might give you some bonus biomass, and once you place something into the composter and it's processing, you can't get it back out. When you grab the biomass into your inventory, you'll get the power cell recipe. You need 50 biomass and 6 glass for each power cell, and the news gets even worse when you test these out and find out that a power cell in the speeder seems to get you about 2,000 meters. Trying to get a hauler halfway across your grass valley will probably take 4 or more of these. We put a few villagers on composting duty and they didn't provide us with much help. Check out my other videos on my channel for fun videos and tips on using the other new items and tools just added to LEGO Fortnite. Uh.